Happy New Year! It is Dirky Dirk, and we will start off the new year with a video. This was from a friend of mine who sent me a build really intriguing. His name is Whispered to Me78. This is his build, the fifth element. Wanted me to kind of showcase it and offer it to everyone just to try this thing out. It's really interesting. It is a regular dog build with a twist. Now, I was gonna put this on the end of something else, decided this thing deserves its own video. So, this is that video. Enjoy! It is the fifth element, and it looks really cool. His idea is a basic dog build, Sparkister. There's one extra energy, so he put a lance there, which I don't really blame him. And there is a fortune right in the middle. It's kind of a long-range dog. I think that's really intriguing. So I want to check this one out as well. Now, what's really weird here, you know I always say a weapon should be on grills that are attached to other grills, attached to the cab, attached to the frame. This guy went way out of his way to do that. So if I strip away some of this armor, you can see exactly what this thing is attached to. It's pretty insane. So it is attached to a little grill bit, attached to other little grill bits, attached to this one, attached to this one, attached to the cab. So it's like a weird staircase of grills. I don't know how much I'd recommend that because grills are not invincible. They do come off. Um, but that was a really interesting way of doing that. And this is kind of weird how there's just kind of stacks of canvas protecting this oppressor, which is a fairly interesting choice. And even here, there's some interesting frames. So it's really asymmetrical, weird, but you get a grill on a grill on a frame. And I can't really imagine this bit. So there's two grills here really doing nothing for you. But you have here a fortune on this little grill bit over there. Now the harvester is not even attached to the frame itself, which I find to be really weird. It's attached to a grill, attached to a grill, attached to a grill with a fortune on top, attached to a frame. Really kind of strange. I think you might as well be safer just kind of skipping all those grills and just maybe reversing it and attaching it to the frame itself. I'm just talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have to try this thing as is and I'll see how it, how it works. Sorry guys, I had that window open, so I kind of messed everything up. It is now New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, Savage Potatoes. All right, so what the hell is this thing? It's kind of like a long range tug. The hover catcher is not great, and it really does kind of block the spark. It's definitely not high enough, but the fortune does a lot of quick work against hovers if you just kind of ram them and then fortune them. Ow. Is it just me or there's some new sound effects? That was really unusual, kind of. Uh, I have a cloak. Hello. Let me help subjugate her. Dog coming through. Alright, there is an hover over there. Nope. Sorry. Here I come. Here I come. Peek out. Nope. Fortune did not help that time. But, it's time for the usual spark thing. No. Running away again. Oh, hello. Now they're all after me. That's okay. I can run away. I know how to run. I know how to run away. Don't you worry about that, Dominic. <laughs> Get in the butt, kinda. Wee! Fortune in your face. Boom. This should be a good map for me. Kind of lying wait sort of thing. Um, while my friends get wrecked by quasars. But it's kind of boring, isn't it? So let me just sneak up a little bit. I see some, a lot of nasty stuff over here going on. We don't like that. There's a lot of mandrakes. What the hell? This is ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Run away. That was like two each. That's crazy. This is a really weird power score. Look at that. And let's try this guy. Oh, it's that. He's definitely gonna hit me. Whoa! I got him a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, he knows what to do. He's a good spider. But I have fortunes! Oh, that did nothing to him. Nothing. Poof! Fortunes. If I didn't have those fortunes, I would not have gotten that guy. So, <laughs> that was actually a pretty good thing, man. Inner interceptor. Alright, let's see what you do. Um, I have lost everything. Except for an harvester. But you are kept in, so. Hey! So buttons! Destroyed and hello! Victory! 
Can't get away from this map today, man. You're hitting a rock. Ah, you're hitting a rock, man. You're hitting a rock. Go for it. <laughs> you can shoot that rock as much as you want. How much do I want to save all those bots? Not a whole lot. Can I 1v1 this dude? I don't know. Poof! Nice! He... No, that wedge is gone. That wedge is a goner. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Dude, hi. Nice. Let me just get one of these things and you'll be all set. I can't get my spark to work, man. Gotta work on this, seriously. That spark is not working. There, done. Uh, fortune finally is the one thing that did it for me. So thanks for that. Here's some more fortunes, and hello. Hello again. Fortune against fortune, okay? Poof. All right, Whisper, thanks for this one. This is really cool. I love the idea. It's worth considering. Fortunes are a really fun weapon. I like fortunes. I want to use these things more. But a fortune dog was a pretty good idea, as long as you don't blow your own face off with the fortunes. But fortune, spark, harvester. Give it a shot, guys. Definitely give it a shot. Definitely worth a try. And I will see you later. Hey, Zebra Runner, happy new year, my friend. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you so much for making me an actual YouTuber. Like, for legit. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited to be doing a lot more stuff for you guys in the new year. This is Dirky out. Don't drop that Dirk Dirk. Hey, don't drop that Dirk Dirk.